What's up gamers? So I've been hearing a lot about this PlayStation now going down. Not PlayStation now, not that shitty subscription service. The PSN servers going down. A lot of people were upset about it and and then you got the people who are like, maybe it's just early maintenance. Uh, let me tell you one thing, it's not a really good business call for a business to go on unscheduled maintenance. It's not really a good business call at all. It pisses a lot of people off that you shut your services down and you don't even tell people you're going to shut your services down. That is not the case. I can guarantee you that the DOS attack is real and it did take their servers down and it's nothing to do with maintenance. How long they're going to be down, I have no idea. Maybe they will only be down today. Maybe they fixed the whole DOS thing and it didn't really affect them a whole lot, but they kept it down the rest of the day to make sure it didn't happen again. Which, you know, that that is probably standard protocol for them. And if they're not up today, I'm not surprised because they were supposed to be down today for maintenance. But what a lot of you guys need to understand is when you get to that level that Sony is, that corporation level, people target you just to get street cred. They do it intentionally because taking down a corporation's network like Sony is really, really good for them. They get a lot of street cred. They get people knowing them. I mean, do I think these people... I mean, look at it. The, they came out and said that they did it. I don't really remember the name of the people who did it. I might want to look that up later. But, I mean, they came openly out and said they did it and they are getting exactly what they want people are cut talking about them i mean the ready. fbi is looking for them now and which is ridiculous like why would you want the fbi looking for you that's just that's stupid i mean they the fbi bust so many cyber hackers i would not want them on my trail whatsoever i wouldn't come out and say shit like that uh they were called the lizard squad i just looked it up but like I said, the Lizard Squad did this, and who knows if they did it. They say they did it, but, you know, people might want to do shit and they get co feeded and then Lizard Squad comes in and is like, well, no one's going to take the credit for it, I am. But, you know, my everyone suffers this every now and then. It doesn't matter what company you are. I think if, as a gaming community, we should be outraged that people would target gaming communities. There's no reason to target us. And you're like, oh, I play on Xbox One. Yeah, I play on Xbox One too. And the Xbox 360 and Xbox One servers were minimally damaged because of it. They, uh, the services issues I had yesterday was probably because of something completely unrelated. And they, they servers were messing up, but who knows if it had anything to do with the DOS attacks. It is ridiculous that Sony was took down by a basic DOS attack. But, you know, like I said... For every precautions Sony could take to protect their network, there's always someone out there who knows exactly how to get around it. And there are people out there skilled that no matter how hard you try to protect your services, they will get in and they will fuck your day up. You know, I mean, people just take this stuff too far. These console war just gets ridiculous at times. Like, instead of being, I mean, we should be outraged that someone came in there and was fucking with gamers. The gaming community should be outraged, but you know, the console war just shows up and the Xbox fanboys are just pointing and laughing at the Sony fanboys and the Sony fanboys are out lashing back to the Xbox fanboys when everyone should be joining together. All the console people at least should be joining together and being outraged towards this group. The only time I ever really see console people join together against a group is usually PC people. But you know, that's that's a completely other video. And I mean I hope PlayStation gets their shit together. I hope and if anything this whole thing with this lizard group taking out the servers, maybe Sony will actually get their shit together when they come to security and realize that something needs to be done. But like I said, regardless what they would have done, even if they would have hired multi million dollar companies to protect their shit, chances are if someone wanted to get in there, they would get in there. There's no precaution you can make till technology is constantly ev evolving and regardless what you do, someone will always know how to get around shit. But you know, this is Gaming Addict and like I said, I hope they get their shit together. If you like this, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. But I mean, if you don't, if you don't mind, subscribe. I, can, I, have, I produce regular content and I'd like you guys to subscribe if you don't mind. But you know, this is Gaming Addict. Peace.